Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the top free Unity assets for November, December 2023. I'm going to show you some of the best editor extensions, 3D models and best assets you can find to speed up your development for absolutely free for this month. And I'll put all of the assets down in the description because there's over 60 for this month and we'll look at some of the best today and you can let me know down below which ones are your favourite. Then do be sure to support me on Patreon to get access to over 205 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And also check out all the links in the description for all the best sales and savings, great bundles across Humble Bundle, on the Unity Asset Store, and so much more. So first of all, we have the stylized foliage shader, which is a set of shaders which allow you to integrate a wind system and differences of foliage materials to customize it all to introduce dynamic wind amplitude, grass bending and crushing, and then loads of different translucency and other shader effects. Next one is erosion tools for procedural terrains. And this is a set of tools which allow you to simulate various types of erosion, whether that's hydraulic, thermal, wind, tectonic, or other styles, which creates realistic erosions to terrain. And it's a really cool looking asset. Next one is the Eden Terrain Painter by the same developer. This allows you to paint automatically by setting some rules but across height, steepness, and other tools like that. You can auto update and use fast iterations and you can use scriptable objects to set texture profiles on exactly what should be painted and where. The next one is the free fire visual effects, which there's two different packs, one for the built-in and one for URP. And it has a bunch of 15 different high quality fire effects all looped with included sound effects. The next one is the Caldera Prefab Painter Lite. This is a free version of the bigger version. So this includes a paintbrush, a circle brush and an eraser. So it simply allows you to paint prefabs onto your other objects into your scene without you having to manually place them separately. Next one is the dynamic floating text. So you can use 2D or 3D text on different style objects using Text Mesh Pro and you can dynamically make them flow, change the color and do all cool custom effects like that. Next one is the portrait avatars either for a first person 3D or different style portraits. So you can make a 2D look or an animated 3D background for your portraits for the characters, which I think is quite interesting. Could do with an RPG or something like that. Next one is the Sci-Fi Heavy Station Kit, which comes with a drone for flying, eight configurable security surveillance cameras, and loads of different little tiny bits in here. We've got the Aqueous Light Water System for the built-in render pipeline, which includes two selections from their bigger package, which allows color absorption, depth, real-time reflections, reflection probes, soft edges, and customization for the shoreline. We've got Console Filter Pro, which lets you change your console so you can set customizable themes, full integration, you can have real-time feedback, build optimization in there, and allow debugging in much easier ways. Next one is from the same developer, and they've got three different characters, two are female and one male. And they're all anime stylized characters so this is the female character comes with a bunch of custom materials to create a cell shaded outlined anime style which you might be able to use for other props too not just this so there might be quite a bit to learn from here and we've got one called the curve path generator which is great and supported across all pipelines so you can create bezier curves really easily and with that you need objects to follow a path or you need to add paths for other specific reasons Next one is the UCLA wireframe shader and it allows to create that wireframe look on any 3D object with a custom shader and material. And then last but not least is the drag and shoot system which is just like Angry Birds where you'll be able to pull on an object and set the power. It also has customization for having the camera track the object around the scene and to be able to set physics around there. So it might be a great little project for you. Check out the 60 different assets that you can find for this month and let me know your favourites down below. And I do have a massive playlist to check out all the rest of the months that you might have missed previously. So check out my Patreon to get access to over 205 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And also check out all the links down below because there's some great humble bundles for massive asset packs for Unity. Then check out the Unity Asset Store for their Black Friday sale and I'm keeping everybody updated on that. And a big thank you to all my patrons, special thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the videos. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.